Welcome to Illinois Corn TV with your weekly summary of agriculture news and we have some really good news to report this week. The Illinois Corn Growers Association released a statement last week about the Next Generation Fuels Act and its introduction into the Senate. Last year, you'll remember Congresswoman Sherry Bustos introduced the Next Generation Fuels Act in the House as House Bill 5089, and it is a piece of legislation that paves the way for corn-based ethanol to be an important part of our nation's renewable energy future. Illinois Corn Growers Association President Marty Marr, a farmer in central Illinois, made the following statement. He said the Next Generation Fuels Act is a game-changing piece of legislation. This bill is instrumental in helping automakers improve efficiency of vehicles, reduce CO2 emissions, and comply with stricter vehicle standards. The higher octane fuel required in this legislation enables engines to get more miles per gallon. This could increase fuel efficiency along with higher ethanol blends to reduce emissions as well as fuel costs. Rob Elliott, who is also an Illinois farmer and ICGA member, explains exactly what's in this piece of legislation. What it does, it creates a new fuel standard. It uh, establishes a higher octane rating fuel with a lower carbon content. So it accomplishes what the environmental people want to do at 40 some percent, almost 50 percent uh, cleaner burning. So we, we, we check that box, uh, but it's the high octane part that lets this all be successful. So uh, what, what it would require or allow would be an E20 type blend or 20% ethanol and gas by 2025, which is then, uh, it, it's called a 95 RON research octane number. And then by 2030, it would move to a 30% ethanol uh, content, or a 98 RON, both of those would indicate higher levels of octane. So a win all the way around for liquid fuels, uh, greater efficiency, lower cost, cleaner burning, all of those kind of things. So uh, it, it's a pretty big deal if we can get this to happen. As gas prices climbed to all-time highs, ethanol has been priced about a dollar per gallon less than unblended gasoline at wholesale, and drivers are saving 30 to 40 cents or more per gallon where retailers offer E15. The Next Generation Fuels Act removes barriers to even higher ethanol blends, giving consumers more choices at the pump. And we celebrate 50 years at the ICGA. It's a bittersweet day as we transition some amazing ag leaders off the board. The board terms for the Illinois Corn Marketing Board are nine years, but most board members give more than that. Their commitment over decades is invaluable to the corn industry. To say their time, dedication, and support to Illinois farmers is greatly appreciated is an understatement. That's according to Mark Wilson, who's the Illinois Corn Marketing Board Chair. While some board members are finishing their nine-year terms, others have been on Illinois Corn Boards or the Illinois Corn Growers Association. They're finishing almost two decades of being with Illinois Corn. The board members who are rolling off include Roger Sy, District 12, Newman, Dirk Rice, District 6, Philo, and Dan Cole, District 9, Plainville. Dirk Rice is a farmer from Philo, Illinois. He served on the ICMB from 2013 to 2022. He was also on the Trade Policy Advisory Team and Asia Advisory Team for the U.S. Grains Council. On the Illinois Corn Marketing Board, he served as Secretary, Treasurer, Vice President, and Chairman. Another board member terming off is Dan Cole, who farms in Plainville, Illinois. Dan served for six years on the Illinois Corn Growers Association and nine on the Illinois Corn Marketing Board. Dan served as the Secretary and Treasurer of the ICGA and the National Corn Growers Association Action Teams. Dan has been particularly proud of Illinois Corn's accomplishments, such as funding Lock and Dam 25, Crop Insurance Yield Trend Endorsement, the UL listing for fuel pumps, successes of Mycotoxin Task Force, and Hunger U. And another board member turning off is Roger Sy. He has served on both Illinois Corn Growers Association and the Illinois Corn Marketing Board. Here's a note from Roger. I really enjoyed my years of serving here with the Illinois Corn Board. I've enjoyed both the Marketing Board and the Growers Association, and I strongly urge any young people that are coming into farming or have been farming for a few years to get involved, to let yourself be a part of what's actually happening. It is important. The things we do in Washington, D.C. do get listened to, 
where they do pay attention to us and we do have an influence out there. I've uh, had an opportunity to do things that I would have never done and to meet people I never would have met before by being a part of the organization. So I'm very proud to say I have served. I'm glad I gave the time to do it and you get out of it what you put in. So get involved and make a difference. Well, it's not goodbye, but it's thank you to some of our Illinois Corn Marketing Board members. Thank you to Tara Desmond for her contribution to this report on our board members. This has been Illinois Corn TV. Happy 50th anniversary.